things. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing. Testing. Wait, scoot in more. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. I feel like I am not in I don't care, just do it. Hit the damn thing. <laughs> No one cares. It's not focused on me. Okay, okay, alright, alright. Right. Okay, move your leg over so I fit. Okay, not you! Just your leg! I just feel like you- Alright, just do it, okay. damn thing. <laughs> I feel like you look little and I look big. Sit up straight and I'll slouch. Because I want to make sure it's right. And I feel like it's not even pointing at me, it's all on you. We're filming this because your second birthday is coming up and... I have this fear that- don't do that, Richard. I have this fear that something will happen to me oh, don't say or that. your dad. And uh, I'm, I just want you to know what kind of people you came from. Uh, free energy, um, abilities to have cities and oceans, uh, ability to turn deserts green, no more disease. In 14 life, years? Life extension technologies already exist that have been suppressed. So many amazing things. Do, will we have a female president? There will be no more presidents. Oh, okay. A cool one? Okay. <laughs> what kind of parent am I? I'm gonna let you answer that one. Okay, so the kind of parents we are is you're the fun parent. And I'm the one who makes sure that Ruby is fed and clean and safe. Mm. Do you agree with that? No. Oh, what am I then? The mean one. Oh, mm -hmm. Watching Ruby grow and having fun. I don't want to say watching her grow up because that's so... You stole my answer. Yeah, no, but that's such a, a generic answer. Like, of course, watching Ruby grow up is one of the best parts about being a mom. It's just fun. Wild child. No, Ruby is a good kid. Ruby is a good child. Very easy. Um, super easy kid. I don't think we could handle... A tough kid. But you are wild, like you like to be naked and free and you beat up your dad and you... She's a little stunt woman. Yeah, you're a stunt woman. You're basically not scared of anything. Is shopping a trait? She got she got her beard from me. Mm-hmm. Actually Ruby does have a stash. And the other day we're watching Metallica, Slayer, Anthrax, and um Justin Mega Bieber. Death concert and she was uh, head banging. That was cool. Or like when she was watching the My Morning Jacket concert on TV at one time. And she was naked. And she no, she had a big old saggy <laughs> diaper. <laughs> My favorite memory is when she was about. I think she was like a year old because. Um, I think I'm pretty sure she was walking. Yeah, she, she was walking, and um, we went to go see Tangled, and it was fun because. We spent all morning like shopping together and then in okay, so then we went to the movies and she totally like sat through the movie and watched it and like still to this day it's one of her favorite movies, so that is my favorite memory. I also like watching her play with Brandon, her mm -hmm. cousin, because it kinda just warms my heart to see family, you know, like playing like that. One, two, three. Chicken Pizza. Nuggets. What? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Ruby's favorite song is that Jamiroquai. Jamiroquai song. Jamiroquai. Jamiroquai song. It's called. It's either called Feels Good or Feels So Good. From the Napoleon Dynamite movie. Yeah, from Napoleon Dynamite. That's her favorite song. She likes Shakira. She really. You really like Shakira, girl. One, two, three, tangled. What's eating, what's eating Gilbert Grape? Oh yeah, okay. Your favorite movies are Tangled, I would have to say is your number one because we watch that almost every single day. And the second one is What's Eating Gilbert Grape. And the only reason you like that movie is because um, Arnie. Arnie is handicapped, so he does the same things that a two-year-old. And also you like um, 
Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's like oh. your new favorite. I think at 16, I would like you to play an instrument. Yeah. I would hope that you get good grades. And at 16, I would prefer you Just not... Just be a good kid. No. Just be don't a good kid. Yeah. Be like me. Yeah, don't be like me. Be like your poppy, for sure. Oh, just question everything. Uh, don't take the center route. And there's more life than what you're told by the majority of things. And don't believe what's in your history books. Yeah. And what else? What else? Who else shouldn't you believe? Shouldn't. Just question everything. Yeah, like question everything you learn in school even. Question everything that your father and I yeah, tell you. Yeah, question me even. Yeah. The trait I hope you take from me is that you don't take BS from anyone and that you really um, stand up for yourself. I mean, don't be a total cold-hearted bitch, but I mean, I hope you just stand up for yourself and that you're a strong black woman like your mother. The majority of them are going to be scum. Yeah, it's really true. The only man you can trust is your poppy. Music. What did Jerry Seinfeld said? The ultimate secret is when a woman asks a man what he's thinking, he says nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. No, it's so true. <laughs> the thing about men is what they say is what they mean. Would you agree with that? So if a man says, I like you, just believe that he likes you. Don't like read in between the lines and stuff. Men are like super simple. Like if a man asks you what's wrong, don't say nothing, even though something really is wrong. Like that's I don't do that. I do not do that. So if something's wrong, I will say what's wrong. It's like, that's not healthy for a relationship. Really don't worry about men because a man really can't love you until you really love yourself. I wouldn't do anything differently. You're gonna raise her exactly how your parents raised you? Yeah. Ooh, I just burped. First off, I'm never gonna punish you for being, um, a woman. Growing up, um, there were like a lot of double standards at, at our house. My brothers could have girlfriends, they could come and go, like they pretty much did whatever they wanted because they were men. And because I was a woman, even though I was more responsible and even though I wasn't doing anything bad and they were, I was, I just wasn't a lot, I just wasn't given freedom because I was a woman. I'm not gonna punish you for being a woman, basically. Don't read me beauty magazines, they'll only make you feel ugly. That's not true. Yes, it's very true. That's not true. I'm going to tell you something that took me 25 years to figure out. You're a woman and your body isn't supposed to be that of a nine-year-old boy. We're a Hispanic woman, so obviously our bodies are curvy and beautiful and like you should celebrate your body. Even if you are super thin, like you should celebrate your body and don't compare yourself to other women. We love you. We love you, sweetheart. You've come a long way, kiddo. I can't believe we kept you alive for two years, man. Seriously, I thought I was going to be pregnant for the rest of my life. I thought you were never going to be born. Have fun on your second birthday, and I hope that you're watching this in your spaceship with your hoverboard and... what else? And you're sitting next to Walt Disney. Okay, bye, Teddy! <laughs>